I walked towards the front of the house with Leo at my side. I noticed that there was anger in his stormy gray maroon orbs. I smoothed out my dress and I did my best to keep up with him. Yeah, girl, smooth out that bag of Takis. <laughs> Y'all dragging this dress to hell. As they should, because what is that thing? Guys, I didn't know Orbeez came out with the stormy gray maroon color. Is that the limited edition? Orbs, what are you, a sorcerer? Didn't know this was wizard101.com, but go off, I guess. Leo turned to me and ordered. No matter what, do not leave my side. Got it? Got it. Ordered? Ordered what? Ordered who? Not the T-Wolf Archie Andrews wanna be given orders. Right, this ain't no restaurant. You better go order somewhere else. A group of Leo's friends weren't too far behind us. When we reached the front, we saw him and his friends. They were all dressed in black and wearing leather jackets. The entire party fell silent as the two looked at each other. Jackson growled darkly. Leo? Jackson? The tension. I think they did it. Oh, they definitely did it. Is he really growling again? Bro, call animal control. At the official Jurassic Park. Ayo, did you lose your dinosaur? <laughs> Not y'all bothering Jurassic Park. <laughs> Leave them alone. Jackson then looked at me, his green orbs darkening. You shouldn't be here. You have to go. Leo then wrapped a protective arm around my waist. She's not going anywhere. Be careful where you're making demands. This isn't your territory, cousin. Ew, they're cousins. They definitely did not do it then. Well, I mean, shit, the way this thing is going, they probably did. <laughs> For real, it might be that kind of story. <laughs> Alright, I've had enough of looking at him. Someone get him out of here. I watched as one of Leo's friends step towards Jackson. You heard him. Time to go. With amazing strength, Jackson picked him up and launched him across the room. He flew and flew across the air, and then he crashed on the table where the food was. <gasps> no! My, my cabbages! <laughs> yes, that was perfect! <laughs> oh my god! How many Avatar references is that now? I don't know, somewhere between 15 and 20? <laughs> We're all gonna get blocked. My jaw dropped as I realized what happened. Jackson threw this guy across the room. He launched him like it was nothing. Launch? What is this, NASA? Why is Pad Boy Dinosaur out here throwing people? Yeah, justice for the table and justice for the food. That poor food. Those poor cabbages. <laughs> oh my god. He then turned to Leo, his green orbs darkening. Sending someone to fight your battles, Leo? Well, you've always been pathetic like that. Leo scowled. The only one here pathetic is you, so take you and your friends and go. I don't think I will. Leave now. I said I don't think I will. Hey, yo, why y'all yelling? Why is YN in the middle of a lover's quarrel? They need to get a room. Guys, Jackson and Leo are cousins. Stop saying that they did it. Ma'am, have you seen the tension? I mean, Leo already did it with his teacher, so sweet home Alabama, I guess. I then spoke up. H how did you know that I was here? Girl, this is not about you. Nobody. Wyan's dress. <laughs> oh my god. You're not letting that dress go. No, I'm not letting that go. No one told her to leave the house looking like a spicy, sweet chili bag of Doritos. Exactly, not our fault she looks like an off-brand Sophia the First. That ain't Sophia the First, that's Sophia the Fourth. <laughs> oh, ruthless! Holy shit. I then spoke up. How did you know that I was here? Jackson turned to me and scoffed. I told you that I was watching you. You need to listen to me right now. You should not be here. Especially not with him because he is a liar. Leo tipped his head back and howled with laughter. Oh, liar! So that's what you think I am. I'm so hurt. Y'all, the Team Wolf Archie Andrews wannabe is howling again. My god, guys, there's so much tension. Who do you think's the top? Oh, Leo, without a doubt. Yeah, you're right, Jackson is definitely a brat. Guys, we're not going through this again. They are cousins, they did not do it simple. But anyways, what do you guys think happened between them? Chow, anyways. Yeah, uh, ship Laxon for clear skin. This was getting out of hand. I had to break the tension somehow. I nervously tucked a strand of my golden blonde hair behind my ear. I then turned to Leo and blinked my blue orbs. C -c 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 can we go back to partying or something? I feel like people might want to dance. Now taking his maroon gray orbs off of Jackson, he said to me, Of course, love. After all, it's supposed to be a fun night, isn't it? Love? Love? Leo then pulled me closer to him. Yes, love. Wyan and I are dating. Okay, what? Wait, stop. Since when? So we missed like 40 chapters, two series, and a whole movie. Exactly, what chapter are we on? Chapter two, wait no, this is chapter three. When did we get to chapter three? I don't know, I stopped keeping track of this train wreck after the second stutter. Speaking of, what's our stutter count? Somewhere in the six thousands. Oh my god. Not the team with Archie Andrews wannabe trying to make a claim on Sophia the 11th. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's bold to do that. 
right in front of his true love. Jackson is standing right there. Oh my gosh. Guys, none of this is funny. That's rough, buddy. We don't care. <laughs> We're about to get yelled at again. The entire room sucked in a sharp breath. At Leo's words, everyone went completely still. The silence was soon broken by a loud laughter. Jackson's laughter. Soon, his friends joined in. Are they some hyenas? I would not be surprised. No, seriously, this is already a Zootopia x Riverdale x Monster High x Wings Club fanfiction. Why not throw in the hyenas from Lion King? <laughs> <laughs> the laughing only seemed to make Leo angrier. Is something funny? Yes, you. You're funny because you're a joke. <laughs> Guys, isn't Jackson so funny? Hilarious. Oh my god, he's not like other boys. He is so hilarious that I forgot to laugh. <laughs> Y'all are ruthless. She's not dating you. And why is that? Because you're dating me. I love you. Jackson and Leo kiss in front of everyone, leave the party, and Wyan gets with the mean girl. The end. Beautiful. Spectacular. Ship blacks in. And Wyan with Miss Firelips. Jackson then glared at him, his electric orbs darkening. Because she's mine. Sir, how many times we gotta go through this? That is illegal. What part of this is not a blast from the past do you clearly not understand? Guys, didn't they just meet? Yep, they all just met. Leo stepped away from me and closer to Jackson. Listen here, cousin. Cut! Leo, you forgot your line. It's listen, boyfriend. Listen, baby. Listen, the love of my life. Jackson snapped. No, you stopped being my cousin the moment you got my aunt fired. She loved teaching more than anything and you took that from her. You truly are pathetic. Oh my gosh, guys, it's getting intense. Are you team Leo or are you team Jackson? What? What did he say? Cut the cameras right now. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Jackson's aunt got fired. Uh-huh. Meaning that she was the teacher. Uh-huh. And the teacher was Leo's first girlfriend. Who turned into the moon, which is still very rough, buddy. Uh-huh. Jackson and Leo are cousins. So that means Leo slept with his mom? It appears so. Oh my god. What is the name of this book? The Fault in Our Alabama? Guys, I didn't know Cassandra Clare wrote this. What a queen. <laughs> oh no. It's literally chapter three. Guys, we need to talk. After receiving some comments, there's just something I want to clear up. I said that Leo slept with Jackson's aunt, not his aunt. Hopefully that makes more sense to you guys. So his own mom. That makes it worse. So you're against the idea of Laxon. But you can write something like this and call it fine? I mean, what's next? Oh, I'll tell you what's next. Jackson's gonna turn to YN and probably say some shit like, You're my sister. My sister. My blood. My family. I should want to protect you. He laughed soundlessly and without any humor. To protect you from the sort of boys who want to do with you exactly what I want to do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the slander. Guys, stop. It is not that kind of story. Then what is it? Moving on and remember, no avatar references because I will block you. What? Jackson then looked at me. Didn't Melissa tell you the truth at one point? This guy's got secrets and you can't trust him. Trust me. Melissa? That's the hot girl with fire lips. Oh, you mean the girl who looks like Azula that slapped YN? Oh yeah, we love her. Literally my wife. Tears filled my diamond blue orbs. But, 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 woman, woman, I tr tr trusted you. You were rude to her. She wants nothing to do with you and everything to do with me. I love her and she loves me. And she's not yours, so shut up about that. She's not yours because you're mine, Leo said to Jackson before he pushed him against the wall and kissed him senseless. Perfect. Fabulous. That sentence alone was better than this entire story. We heard someone shout and we turned to see the girl with fire lipstick and red hair. The one who slapped me earlier. She must be Melissa. She turned to Leo and crossed her arms. Love? Leo, don't be ridiculous. You just met this girl. There's no way you can be in love with her. My wife! Melissa, marry me. Oh my goodness, she can step on me. Exactly, and I would thank her. Jackson then looked back at me. Exactly, he's lying to you. Of course Leo's lying to her. He said that dress looked nice. <laughs> Here we go again. That dress really said Sophia the Last. And with the long hair, Rapunzel, but straight from Wish. <laughs> Leo turned to Jackson and laughed. You know, Jackson, you hated her before. You sleep with her once and now you're suddenly taking sides? Hey, shut up, you off-brand Oedipus. <laughs> we starting with that. Wait, you mean to tell me Melissa, the goddess, slept with the pad boy dinosaur? That's a tragedy. I will literally pay for this woman's therapy. My diamond blue orbs widened in shock. Y y y you slept with her? My heart completely shattered. This is twice now you've broken my heart, even after everything we've been through. Girl, what? I'm confused. What did they go through? 
Oh my god, I love when you shoved me against the locker and told me that you owned me. Don't you love when he bullies and stalks you? Dresses for the locker, we didn't forget. And the stairs. And the floor. And the table. And the cabbages. <laughs> Jackson sighed. It was a long time ago, but... But what? You say I have secrets, but what about you? You say I do bad things, but what about you? You say I can't be trusted, but what about you? You're just as bad as me, cousin, if not worse. Can y'all just kiss already? No, because the tension is so thick. This is so fruity. Leo stepped back towards me and put his arm around my waist. Conversation over. Simple as that. Now, are you going to leave? Because it's one o'clock in the morning and we're still trying to party here. One o'clock? Go to bed! Don't you guys have school in the morning? No, but like, can someone tell me why does he keep putting his arm around a bag of spicy sweet chili Doritos? Why in stress when Leo put his arm around her? <laughs> Jackson growled darkly. It was a warning. Get your hands off of her now. And put them on me instead. At the official Jurassic Park, he's growling again. Please, for the love of God, come get your dinosaur. Like you said before, I don't think I will. In fact, I'll do this instead. Leo then kissed me and my entire world froze. I was so shocked I couldn't even think. Ayo? You kissed Barney right in front of the love of your life? And right in front of the love of her life? Oh, I get it. He kissed Sophia the fourth to make him jealous. Got it. Before I knew it, Jackson had punched Leo with enough force to shake the planet and they started fighting. The crowd went from silence to cheering on the fight. Th 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 this is terrible, I thought to myself. What do I do? Watch? Leave with Melissa? I'm not gonna lie, I forgot the pterodactyl Walmart fairy existed for a second here. No, seriously, I'm so invested in the lax and enemies to lovers fic that I forgot what this was.